Electronic forms are becoming more and more important as a tool to collect information for businesses. Microsoft Word has the tools to help us create electronic forms to efficiently gather and share information, like business data, from the people we work with, colleagues, suppliers, customers, and so on. And while forms created in Word can be printed and filled out manually, the real benefit of creating forms using Word's form controls and tools is to allow the form to be filled out electronically and then sent directly to the person collecting the information. Here's an example of a form created in Word that can be used to capture travel expense data. This form uses common form controls like date pickers for entering dates, combo boxes that allow you to type or select an item from a list, standard text boxes for entering a single line of text, check boxes for selecting an item from a group, drop-down list boxes for choosing from a list of predefined items, and rich text boxes that allow multiple lines of text that can be formatted depending on the restrictions you set up in the form. From a form design standpoint, notice that this form uses layout tables for its basic structure. Tables aren't necessary, but they generally help us to create forms that are easier to understand, allowing data fields to be grouped together in a logical and intuitive way. One of the goals of a Word form developer would be to create forms that are intuitive and attractive, but also prevent form users from being able to change or delete parts of the form. Word allows us to enable form protection that restricts what form users can do with the form. Also, since 2007, Word has made it possible to digitally sign forms to help validate the data being collected, providing the user has a digital certificate installed on their computer. Other options for signing forms include using digital signature pads, which utilize a Microsoft Office plugin allowing people to sign using a stylus at the cursor location. Because not everyone wants to create forms in Word, Microsoft did not make the location of Word's form controls and tools visible by default. Here we see the ribbons from Word 2010 and 2007 showing the Developer tab. It's on this tab that we'll find the controls we need to build forms, including access to legacy form controls for those designing forms for Word 2003 and earlier users. With this overview of Word's form creation tools, we can now continue to a clip on designing a form, where we'll begin by showing you how to enable the Developer tab and begin structuring your form.